Well, hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to another prompt challenge for the month of October. Can't wait to see what this one is today. Lines. Ooh. All right. Let me think about this one for a few and gather some supplies. Okay, lovelies. I wasn't excited at first about this prompt because, you know, I was just thinking, you know, Pencil line, pen lines, paint lines. Okay, so then I got excited because I am going to use this um, just, you know, pretty inexpensive watercolor sheet that, it, you know, when you sew on it, it is very nice to sew on for paper. It says it's heavyweight paper for watercolor. I don't know how many GSMs it is. But it's going to work good for what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to get two of these. My thoughts are is to um, cut these in strips for like lines. Put these, cut these in strips, just magazine. You know, it's got some squares and numbers. Then... I don't know exactly how this is gonna to come together, but my thoughts were, okay, so I got my strips of sewing strips to form lines. And this is a cool um, jewelry piece. I found it in, um, I don't I think it was National Geographic. Yeah, and it's uh, Vikings of the New World, and um, I come from Viking heritage. My dad was born in Denmark, so I'm half Danish. So I thought that would be cool to kind of, you know, what was it? Strip art. Have you ever done that before? Just cut that in strips and put it in. And I don't know, we'll see where it takes us. So that, those are my thoughts so far. So I'm pretty excited to do this. So let's just get these all in strips. I am just going to use my, oh, I have a metal ruler here. Just gonna um, I don't know how big of a. I think I'm gonna go these a little bit smaller than the watercolor paper. I suppose it doesn't have to be. That might be. So strips there. So here are, I was trying to judge and see how many strips I needed to be using. So that looks pretty good. And then if I One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we could break this up into six. I think we can do it. So I'm going to now cut these up into, wonder if it would kind of have some cool interest if I didn't make these the same size. Cool, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna tear these up into eight strips. Okay, so here's my strips. So I think I, I don't know. Is there any point to, I guess, maybe I should make these smaller. Maybe I'll just cut these there. I think that's more, so you can see both. Oh, sorry, I'm not in camera here. So you can see both the texture and the lines of the strips. So I'm gonna go to my sewing machine, sew these up, and we'll see what you guys think. Here are the strips. So you can see, and I left strings on them. So we can just do this. Strips 
strips, lines, I guess. Just call it lines because that's what the prompt calls for. Okay. And so then if we cut this into lines or strips, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm actually just going to fold this. six that is going to be one two three four I think if I fold it again it's going to be more than six but it'll be the right width and we'll just work it out from there okay so yes we got more for sure one two three four five six seven eight I think we can figure it out so I'm gonna tear these no no you know what I'm gonna cut them because if I tear them then I might not tear them straight so I'm gonna go ahead and tear these up so when I said tear I meant I cut these so Okay, I still, still see how we in shot here. Okay, so these were, this is what I was thinking, guys. Lines. I don't know how we'll fit it all in, maybe. Okay. Okay, so I think I will put this one probably at the farthest edge to make room and bring these on top to create some interest. So you might be thinking, are you going to paint these? I think I am, but let me just bring this up closer and see what you guys think. If I can get it right. <laughs> so I think then <clears throat> if we pull some color paint these, right? Mm -hmm. Or ink them or something. And pull in the color of the yellow here and the blues and the greens. You know? So maybe <clears throat> I <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I could um, paint some like a turquoisey blue here, some yellow, some green over here to kind of accent the color of the beads and do some golds and maybe some silver somehow. So the only thing is, do I want to paint it once it's glued down? Because then I'll get paint on the image, which to some degree you want to bring these in together with some paint to make it look like one. So it might be a little difficult to paint them with these strips on. So if I take the strips off, maybe if I mark them really lightly and maybe kind of just do this where I might want some blue 
put a B there, and then maybe here, some yellow, blue, real lightly. to give me an idea. Obviously it's not going to be perfect and it can be random too, but you kind of want the color to be coordinated a little bit, I would think. Oh, I don't know. That's just how my brain's working. Green there. Maybe some gold and browns and yellow. Some turquoise, turquoise, tea, gold. Probably should number these one because I'll get them mixed up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why do I feel like I'm missing one? No, nope, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I am going to take these off and I shouldn't take these off in the wrong order either because I really do know how my brain works and I get them mixed up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to then just take these off mm -hmm. in order, keep these in order as well, put them down on another piece of paper. Think about if I want to do spray inks marker, watercolor, or acrylic. I guess it doesn't matter. Of course, I'm probably, after it's all glued down, going to do some um, texture paste and do my scraping palette knife technique. So another question is, is I should probably paint the background because obviously we're going to see, you know. So let me get these um, parts organized and the paint ready to go. All right, lovelies, I went ahead and numbered these on the bottom so I wouldn't get them mixed up. I got my little trays and some paints. So I think I'm going to do the background, of course. And looking at the colors, it's browns and gold. And some gray grunge. So it's, you know, it doesn't have to be too fantastic probably more or less just needs some color there so I'm gonna use this one I forgot to get water darn um, here we go so I think I'm going to you know what yeah let's do the palette knife thing I really enjoy that. I know it doesn't work that great with thinner paint, but this is kind of thicker. So we'll pick some brown out. I should have done the white first, but we'll do some white. This is, what is this? Acrylic medium gloss. Maybe I don't need that. I don't even need the gloss. Let me grab the white. Sorry, guys. I have white. Did I not grab the white? Yes, I did. No, that's... Why not? Sorry, I'm not going to look for my white. This is kind of a silver. So we'll put some down. Put that over here. Actually, I do need white. Darn. We'll put a little bit of black. Just a tad. Over here. And I'm going to get some water, guys. So... Okay, so I got my white paint and some water. I'm just gonna, I was gonna try and make some gray, but what I thought, 
I'm going to try just to make a, a lighter brown and add some of the silver to it. So can you kind of see that? It's kind of pretty. And just streak it on here. It's kind of a cool, I'm trying to make my own little metallic color wash over here. So how are you fine people today? And what are you guys up to? Anything fun? Anything interesting? Share in the comments below if you want. I'm just gonna do that just pretty messily. Don't want to add too much water on it because then it gets a little thin. But Okay, that's kind of a neat color. I'm not sure that it really matches the backgrounds, but it kind of does bring out some of this um, gold tinge slightly. Not that, you know, kind of experimenting too with color and mixing. So let's try and get just a little, do some like light brown. This brown is kind of an interesting, it's not, it's kind of got like a, well it's definitely a warm brown, not a cool colored brown. It's kind of got like a mauve -y color to it. Or maybe that's because I have some silver in there. Hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of black see what that does. Maybe darkens it. Or I could add some red, but that's really not the vibe I'm going for. Hmm. It's pretty. It's a pretty color. Instead of waste it, just add it. you guys ever painted and mixed a color that really wasn't the color and you didn't want to waste it so I'm just gonna grab another piece of paper and uh, paint that on there so I can actually use it for something else and I'm gonna figure out another brown more of a maybe that's a cooler I don't know I guess that's a cooler brown because this would be more warmer colors. All right, guys, let me, I'll be In case right. you wanted to know what I was doing with the extra paint, I just put it on like a magazine. Maybe something you guys can do if you like the color, but it's not the color that you want to do. So again, this is why I want to get a jelly plate, but at least you can lift up some of that color and use it for collage. Your collage papers or whatnot. And magazine is always a good substrate to, oh my goodness, look at me. Uh, it's a good substrate for this, I think. Because, um, you know, you can make some paper flowers. 
I guess I'm just um, there. I think that'll be okay. We'll try and get the rest of this up. And that looks like a mauve color. I can't believe. So I'm using this Modera acrylic colors. It came with my um, my easel. And it, you know, it looks like a regular brown, but then adding the white and the silver made it this mauvey color. So we're gonna start over. Might as well mix up some more colors while that's drying on in the sketchbook too. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but at least it could be collage or something for something else. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I may try and get some of this off just because I don't want to okay so we'll put some more brown down try this again brown some white over here and I want to get a little bit of yellow I'm gonna do some yellow ochre and see if I can make kind of a, a lighter tan color so I think I'm gonna bring in some yellow first just use this I'm gonna use a different brush because I believe I was using a watercolor brush for acrylic didn't really work out too well. Okay. So that is actually matching up a little bit better with some of these papers. If you can see, ah, sorry, I'm trying to get you guys in camera kind of goldy. I'm going to add a little bit of white. Can you guys see okay? Sorry. Just really trying to take you through my process. Hopefully you guys don't mind. If you do, let me know in the comments. So we'll do a little bit of white and kind of So that's bringing it closer to, probably as close as I'm going to get to that. All right, let's go for it. Not spend too much time. As I always tell myself. Put you guys in camera shots here. I don't know, it's gonna be funky, but at least it'll be a background, have some color on it, right? just I think a funky brown I don't know what what shade of brown that is but it's looks more like a mauve brown honestly now that I see it just plain 
Anyhow, we're going to leave that. Let it dry. Let's get our other substrates and I'm almost <laughs> I'm almost afraid to do this now. Let's get these in number order here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's get another tray. I'm gonna start with some blue. Hopefully this is um, Pythocaline, Phthalo, Cayenne Blue. Kind of a pretty color. We'll start with some blue. And just kind of um, do some mark making where the blue marks might be. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, guys. So you're going to be along for the ride. Wrong brush. Darn. Put this brush away. It's a watercolor brush. Grab another acrylic brush. Okay. So I'm just going to, where the blue is, just kind of do that. You can guys see okay what I'm doing on my paper? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. I'm going to water it down a bit. Just kind of, there we go. And whatever. That was yellow. This is. Do some blue here, I think. And I had green, green, turquoise, green. Okay, so no more blue. So we'll do some green. Now I've got, because I just did want to mix stuff up, I got this light green, which I don't mind mixing color, but it takes kind of some time, time away from the video. And I'm not an expert by any means in mixing color. I just kind of go with it and try to match it as best I can. So I think there's a green here. If we add a little bit of blue, we can make it a... Greeny blue. I'm probably closer to the color of the bead. I don't know for sure. And then that was green up here. So we'll just add a little bit of green and blue together. some turquoise so there's some green over here okay I put too much water there and then turquoise ish So I have this um, phthalo cayenne green. Oh yeah, I said that already, didn't I? It's kind of a, mm, what do you call that um, color? Teal. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of white and lighten it up. I It's hard for me to mix the color turquoise. Have you guys had success with that by any chance? Anyone? Okay. 
there's the what I'm gonna go with. So there's some there. Mm, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of blue-ish. Ooh, close. Close. Do we have any other turquoise? You know what I could do though? I could just add bits in here. Huh, why not? Bring all of it together in the piece. And then I can add a little bit of, just a slight bit of blue. Here, 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 just a little bit. Okay, and maybe add a little bit of green, just a touch to bring the colors all together in our collage. Okay, I'm stopping there. I'm just gonna add some browns now, some gold, probably do I don't even know. Let's see. I just stuck my finger in the black again. Fun. Okay, I think I'm going to use. I think I want to. Um, put that in there. Let's grab this. I want to darken up some of this brown a little bit and then add some yellow and see what happens a little bit. That's going to give a... Oh, let's just try it. At least it'll antique it up a little bit, right? Yeah, that's pretty dark, but... We can add some color on top to lighten it. Let me get the most of this off. Maybe get more of that off there. Yep, it's a little dark. We'll just lighten it up with the um, I don't even know, this could be a total disaster, guys, but like I always say with paint, you can always cover it up and do something else. Sorry, I'm just, if you wanna know, I'm just getting some of this yellow because there's still a lot of that brown on my brush. So we can just bring some gold on top. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna fiddle with these guys. I don't know if you wanna sit and watch me do that, but you can see the end result in a few. All right, guys, so this is what I did so far. I think it looks pretty good. So now, to carefully put this down in the book without messing up the order, because even though I did write it down, on the backs of these I did, but on here I can't see them. So, I just wanted to let you guys know where I was. Let me get this put in the book. Here. And be right back. I mean, really, to be honest, it looks pretty just like this. I don't even really need to put these down. I kind of like it just like that. But let's look at it again and see, because now I don't know even know if I want to use these. One, two, three, four, ah. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we're gonna do a vote and you're gonna leave me a comment 
because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue down the painty strips, but I'm not going to glue down the picture because I'd be curious to see what you guys vote for. So there's that side. Okay, hold on. I missed a page four. I'll just do this. Doesn't make any sense though. Four, five, six, seven. So, am I missing a stripe? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I am. It's right here. Ha. Okay. So this is what it is with the magazine photo. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it in focus for you guys. I'll lay it down. Okay, so there's with the magazine. Now I'm going to just take this off. That needs to lay down flatter there. Okay, one, two, three, four, one. I'm still missing a painty paper stripe somewhere. Anyway, so this is what it looks like without the magazines. So I'll bring you in. Maybe get a better idea. So you guys comment down below. I'm gonna glue these down without the magazines. Then when I go back and read the comments, then I can see what you guys voted and take it from there. And then we can just come back to this at the end of the series and see what happens with it. So let me go ahead and find I'm missing a painty strip there. So let me go. Okay, lovelies, I changed my mind. I did, I went ahead and glued them down because I don't know, I just decided that it looked better. However, I'm missing a strip. I could have swore I did eight of these and I can't find it. So, how's it goes with things, huh? So that's what it looks like so far. I think it's pretty much done. I don't think I need to add anything. Um, even though it did say lines, there is a line of sewing. These are lines or strips. I feel like I have completed, sorry guys, I was just trying to keep you guys in in uh, focus here. I do feel like I have um, completed the prompt pretty well. So, what do you guys think? I would really, really love to hear what you think in the comments. And I've also lost my little circle thing that says line on it. Oh well, all in a good days of, all in a good day of creating, huh? So I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you come back and see me tomorrow for tomorrow's prompt. And remember, guys, wherever you got, wherever you are, and wherever you may be, I love you. Bye.